name Elma Garraway, and I'm a veteran educator as well as a veteran guide leader. I have been along life's journey for 49 years as a teacher, a school administrator, Family Island principal, teacher trainer, a deputy director of education, undersecretary in the Ministry of Education, a founding administrator of NEMA. Um, I have also served as the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Health and Environmental Health, as it uh, was a part of health. I've served as the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Public Service. And then I returned to education where I ended my career on the 18th of May, 2012. Guiding has been a wonderful part of what I have become and has served as a framework in which I delivered the work I did in the public service. Receipt of her Lifetime Achievement Award is a singular honor, I feel, in one's life, whether it's for your work in the professions or your volunteerism. And to re receive it as a volunteer, it meant that someone somewhere, a group in the Ministry of Youth, to whom I'm most grateful, would have either known of all my work or would have um, recognized and understood, and certainly they would have understood, the role of volunteerism in the development of young people. I am absolutely delighted. Delighted not for myself, for myself, yes, let me be honest, for myself and for the thousands of teachers. Firstly, that group of professionals form, I'm sure, the largest number of volunteers in this nation. They are the ones who serve as coaches. They are the ones who serve as youth leaders and leaders of the various clubs in which our thousands of young people engage over the many years. And in fact, the teachers form the largest group of volunteers in the Girl Guides Association. Working for a government of a country or serving a youth organization for many, many years requires commitment. Commitment either to the overall objective of nation building and understanding the role of education in the development of a person, especially young persons, and consequently, the role and the contribution of individuals in the growth of a nation, that is important. Similarly, becoming a youth leader, one must recognize, and I use one of my favorite quotations, that the destiny of a nation lies in the hands of those who guide its youth. As with the Bahamas Union of Teachers, they call their members, which have been a part for many years, that teachers are nation builders.